The U.S. government defines vodka as a flavorless neutral spirit, but vodka can be made from almost anything. So, for example, rye is a little spicier, wheat is a little creamier, and potato vodka has a very distinctive sort of tangy, earthy quality to it, which really comes out when you use it in a cocktail. Hi, I'm Natalie, also known as The Liquid Muse. As a cocktail book author, blogger, and mixologist, I'm always looking for new inspiration. Welcome to Inspired Sips with The Liquid Muse. In Sweden, vodka is traditionally made from potatoes. In fact, grain distillation wasn't even permitted until 1980. Carlson's vodka is made from seven varieties of golden potatoes that are fermented, distilled, and then blended by master distiller Borge Carlson. In fact, Carlson's flavor profile is so unique that it's great on its own, just maybe on the rocks with a twist of pepper. But today, I've created a cocktail called the Swedish Flag, speaking to its origins, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. The first ingredient is a couple of spoonfuls of fresh blueberries. Now, if you don't have fresh blueberries, you could use frozen, but obviously if you can get fresh, that's always preferable. Now we're gonna muddle these. Muddling is just pressing down gently. You don't wanna mash it into a paste. Just press down on the blueberries until you see some juice coming out of them. Next, we're adding one ounce of limoncello. Notice the blue and the yellow, the tribute to the Swedish flag. And now we're putting half an ounce of simple syrup. Simple syrup is only sugar water. It's very easy to make, and that little bit of sweetness really makes a nice difference in the cocktail. Finally, we're adding two ounces of Carlson's Gold Vodka and the ice. Pop on the lid and give it a good shake. See the condensation? That means it's nice and chilled. We're ready to pop this open, and we're gonna double strain this. We're double straining it because there are little bits of blueberry that we don't wanna have floating in our drink. So it's very easy. You just strain it the way you would any other cocktail, and you have this little sieve, which most of us have in the kitchen if we like to cook. And finally, the garnish. This garnish has blueberries, and a lemon twirl, just put on the cocktail pick, lay it on the top of the glass, and we have the Carlson Swedish flag. Skull!